Hey guys, we are back with a brand new episode of Ark on the Gaming Evolve Vanilla with Sprinkle server and it is a dark and gloomy day. It literally just started to rain as soon as I started recording. Like, <sighs> it never stops raining out here. I hate the rain so much because it makes the videos look like crap. But anyway, still gonna record now. Oh god, this is just horrible. Anyway, <laughs> today we're kind of doing a little bit of a, uh, just a bunch of different jobs and stuff like that. I have some clips to show you guys as well. Um, but I think we're probably gonna start off by setting up our little beer barrel system over here I've wanted to do this for a little while and I thought maybe we might do that here today together. So um, I think uh, Where should we? Uh, this is why it's like so completely down Maybe like that. I want to see um, How well this actually fits is that poking through now? That is kind of poking through that glass isn't it? Okay, so we're gonna move that down. All right pick this guy back up. So, um, as most of you probably know by now, uh, <laughs> Aberration got cancelled. Or not cancelled. Not cancelled, sorry. Wrong, wrong word there. Aberration got delayed uh, by a, a little bit, <laughs> which is kind of disappointing. I was like really amped up and ready to start, and then they delayed it, which is, you know, whatever. I mean, I was kind of thinking like, holy crap, I'm probably gonna have to like stockpile a bunch of vanilla episodes or something. Why can't I place the intake on the other side? I can't get the snap point. We're gonna have to go around. Um, so I was thinking, like, hey, yeah, we're gonna have to like stockpile a bunch of vanilla episodes or something. But uh, yeah, I guess it got delayed. So maybe I'll probably end up doing that at some point. What the hell? I don't want it to snap there. All right, we gotta move that beer barrel first, because I gotta get this pipe down, or else we're not actually gonna be able to snap on an intake. Yeah, it's this one here. So yeah, it got delayed, which is okay. Whatever. It's it's kind of disappointing, but it's what it is. Why? No, I know. I want to snap from here. Sure, I guess it doesn't really matter where it is snapped. I can hide it anyway. So we did actually get some pretty cool stuff. We're going to be checking out the um, the two aberration masks that we have now, which is the Reaver mask and the other one, which is the Bulb Pug. Bulb Dog? That's what it's called. Bulb Dog. So um, we're gonna be checking th those things out on Winston in a little bit because I've already got I've already got that recorded. So I have a couple kind of like clips and stuff of things that I was doing earlier. So I think we'll probably run with some of those after we get this done. Is that irrigated? It should be right. Should get irrigated. I think. Oh, there we go. Yeah, perfect. Okay, that just took a little while to actually work, but it, it seems to have. Done it correctly. Uh, maybe I can't fit six in here. I thought that I might be able to. Hmm. I can't do anything like over... No. You know what? Four might be enough. I mean, we're not really going to need a huge amount of beer anyway. So, why does it say Bingleberry? That was like a... There's a berry thing. A little berry soup thing in the game. It's called like Bingleberry Soup or something. I'm not sure if you can even make it, but I guess that used to be a berry in the game and they mis they must have like taken it out or something. So let's go over here. Oh wait, no. I've already got a bunch of Tentos from earlier. Let's grab these guys out. My, I'm not too heavy. Okay, I'm good. Also, we need to grab some thatch as well. So yeah, a little bit of beer will definitely go down well. Uh, we can tame a Shally at some point. They're not very useful, but they're pretty cool. I think maybe we'll probably come up with some sort of game or something that we could play with them. Uh, actually, I'll grab a little bit more. There we go. So, yeah, this is the beer all set up now. I think, what else should we stick in this little room, though? It's looking a little bit bare over here. Um, I don't know. If, if anybody has any ideas of what we can stick here, something that kind of, like, suits what we're doing in here. You know, we have, like, food... Uh, food storage, you know, like preserving bins and then beer, like what else can go in here? And not a cooker, because I already got one of those over there. So, uh, yeah, we need to fill up the slot over here. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, I guess. And then a couple of these. Why does it... What? Do I have to, like, hit craft now or something? That's so confusing. I never even knew that was a thing. What? Okay, whatever. Two, three... Drop some of these guys in as well. And a couple of you. We're gonna need more thatch. I think it should just do it automatically. I don't think I actually have to go through and, and like hit craft on every single one of them. That would be dumb. I don't think I do anyway. Let's grab some more thatch here. 
Also, at some point, we'll probably end up fixing the eel pit. I've been kind of putting it off because uh, <laughs> I don't like dying to eels. I have to like wait to respawn and everything. It's a big pain. The hell? Now the game's freezing up. Man, server is so glitchy lately. Uh, we got some eggs here. Also, since we tamed up our Rexes the other day, we actually have a couple of eggs here. Uh, let's have a look inside our little egg collector. I still need to like name them all and then we're probably gonna like move them to a better location. But pretty soon we're probably gonna start working on our Tower of Kibble, which is gonna be down the end, close to where that drop is, I'd say. Maybe a little bit further, because I think Axeman's uh, fun house is pretty close down there. So yeah, we're gonna build that down there pretty soon, and then we're gonna start live streaming once we have a Quetzal. Just pretty much taming up every single Kibble Dino that we would need, and uh, kind of just like getting them all set up into the uh, the Tower of Kibble. And then the plan after that is eventually we're gonna set up a shop in the GE Market, and we're gonna call it Kmart, as in like Kibble Mart. So. That's gonna be pretty amazing. Let me just hit craft on every single one just in case. Let me see. All right, there we go. And also, you know what? We could sell beer there too if we want. Okay, so that's that little job done. Maybe now I'll probably run some of those clips from earlier, so enjoy. Hey, so we are over at the GE Marketplace right now uh, because Evo actually told us all there's something over here for us. I've already had a look because I was kind of curious and I was talking to Neo. Uh, so there's a chest here for pretty much everybody. Um, but our one is down the end here, Syntac. So inside we get a Mastercraft compound bow. It looks like it's also dyed, but it might not be. I'm not exactly sure. Uh, so this is crafted by Evo. Uh, we get 100 arrows and we also get money. Now I was curious what the money thing was about because Tag got twice as much as me. And some people didn't get any. So I'm thinking that the money is actually from that lotion race thing. You remember that giant kind of like a, uh, it was kind of almost like a treasure hunt type thing that Evo did a little while ago for us. Uh, I think it was like episode 30 something. Anyway, uh, we came last place, Mind Melt and I. <laughs> or wait, did we? I can't remember actually. No way, I thought we came second, actually. Uh, whatever. Anyway, yes. My Melt and I came last, let's just say that. And uh, we uh, we obviously get the lowest amount. So that's why Tag got twice ours, and Flanger also got the same as Tag. So they were on the same team for that. So that makes more sense. So yeah, we, we get a freaking compound bow and some stuff here, which is really nice. Thank you, Evo. I'm also going to steal this sign. And this box. This is mine now. Nice. Also, I just want to quickly mention, um, Winston is kind of broken. Uh, okay, so first we'll talk about this thing in a second. Um, so I logged on to this. Winston's hat and Winston's helmet have turned into a blueprint. I can't take that away, which is dumb. And he still has his hat, like it still seems, I don't know if the armor seems to function at all, but he still has his hat, so that's cool, but I can't change the hat and I can't do anything else. It's, uh, I don't really know. This is apparently is a bug. I think I had this once before we, um, we had a, like a T-Rex last season and it had a tech saddle on it and the tech saddle turned into a blueprint, which was really confusing. And I don't, I can't remember if we were able to mount it or not. I don't know. Anyway, but then we, Neo and I were talking about this and we discovered that you can actually place hats over it, but it still keeps the freaking it keeps the captain's hat. I'm so confused. Uh, here, it's even weirder with this. So like, oh, no! What? He can have infinite hats? That is so dumb. How many hats can I stick on here? I thought I might have just turned the riot helmet into like a blueprint as well or something, but I seem to have just put two hats onto Winston. This is this is just dumb. How many hats can Winston wear? I know he likes hats, but like, this is a good way to store hats, actually. What the hell was- oh my god, stupid. I never deleted the Twitch stuff. Damn it. Okay, whatever. We'll fix that later. Um, sorry about the noise. <laughs> I didn't even know that would start playing- stop! Why is that making noise? Stop! <laughs> god damn. I don't care if people are following me. I'm busy. Alright, let's just get rid of that. Sweet. Anyway, um... So apparently, yeah, we can have infinite hats on him. That's confusing. So because I lost my riot helmet, I spawned in another one. I spawned in a captain's hat because obviously, like, 
it's messed up and i thought that obviously like i could kind of like chuck this on and that would like do away with all that so what we're probably going to do is probably going to upload him to the obelisk and just see if that fixes it so really quickly i just want to show you some of the aberration uh skins so we showed these off in a video before but um here it is on winston with the uh, captain's hat underneath which is great he looks really really good with this on i gotta say and then here is winston with the uh, reaper helmet skin so it's less less messed up but still kind of messed up like it's not as noticeable can you see it in here you can kind of see it in there it looks like a mini math but um yeah <laughs> it's so stupid i didn't realize i could have infinite hats on him that's really cool though right so we're probably going to upload winston and take him out immediately because he's messed up um but also while we're over here i want to put in an order at evo's thing up here his trank dart shop because I've been waiting for him to freaking restock this place for ages and he's not doing it but he has an orders chest so I'm just gonna put in a massive order so what do we have 25 copper for 50 darts okay so we just got 300 and something I think I want how much do we want I think I'm gonna get a thousand darts yeah I'm gonna make him make me a thousand darts <laughs> so uh, I'm gonna put in an order then 1,000 of the darts, please, and thanks, uh, Syntac, Syntaco, um, alright, so that's gonna cost how much then, uh, let's put that in there, I guess, so, 500 would cost 250, so it's gonna cost 500, that is completely fine, um, I can split 500 from here. Uh, we're gonna give the small change as well because I think that's better. So here, 500. There we go. That is correct. 250. Yeah, that's grand. Okay, cool. So there's his money. Uh, there's his order. I'm gonna let him know that I put one in here just so he realizes. And uh, we're gonna head on out. Where is Mystique gone? Where did I put Mystique? Mystique. What the hell? I didn't even see him. What? Did you like disappear for a sec? I looked, looked down and then I walked into her. That was confusing. Uh, I'm going to have to watch that back. <laughs> Alright, let's check out this purple drop as well while we're here. Hey! Not the worst, I guess. Um, so I don't think there's anything else new around here yet. Our windmill thing seems to have stopped. If there is a hit in here, I'm not going to show it on camera. It doesn't seem to be. Some people put it inside the penguin. All right, and let me see my shop as well. Let's just go check. By the way, we're gonna be dismantling this one here pretty soon because all of our otters starved when I went uh, when I went away. At that but they seem to have starved now. Actually, I guess Sin Scarves is is rip. Look, <laughs> I I put in food like the other day, but that's okay. I guess we're gonna take down our shop now <laughs> instead of like another time. All right, whatever. Okay, guys, so I'll see you back at base for whatever we're doing today. Okay, so we're over at the Red Obelisk, and I've just uploaded and downloaded Winston, and he is fixed. Perfect. Okay. <laughs> that was a little bit of a scare there when I first saw that happen. And I'm, I mean, it's pretty annoying that we lost that ride helmet, and I had to, and the captain's hat, and we had to get that back in. But, like, honestly, that is the strangest glitch I've ever seen. But anyway, this is Winston with the uh, with the Reaper mask on. We'll try it on with the uh, what is it called, Bulb Dog? <laughs> it's so dumb. That is so dumb looking. What? Where is his face in there? Like, where is his face gone? Is that like his forehead that we see? I think it might be. I think I can kind of see his nose or something in there. That's confusing looking. All right. Well, I'm not a big fan of that. I kind of like this one though. This one's pretty nice. Because you can still see his face. <laughs> All right, so yeah, we'll uh, we'll head off back to base now. Okay, so we're back, and we're gonna be heading into this underwater cave here. I just want to quickly have a look and see if there's any drops. Actually, I already checked earlier. I got some okay-ish stuff. I think the best thing was a Fiumia saddle. <laughs> it was like a Mastercraft uh, blueprint, I believe. So I usually like check this cave every single day because I am looking for a certain blueprint which I really need pretty soon, and I can't say why, 
but I really need it. Uh, so hopefully we're gonna get that at some point. But I think uh, the drop should have respawned. It's been about two hours since I was last in here, so they definitely should be back. Not a lot of the creatures are back though. I can see something. Hey, there we go. That was a 360 jellyfish. That's terrifying. All right, let's kill these guys. Let me out. All right, I'm stuck or something. Gotta find the angle that I can get out at. There, oh, is that it there? There we go, we were caught, caught kind of like up in that little crevice or something. I kill these jellyfish, I don't wanna deal with them. All right, so we got a yellow drop, let's go check it out. Hopefully there's something good in here. Eh, not the worst. What is that, scorpion saddle? Eh, not bad. All right, let me chuck that in there. Are you kidding me? If I walk over, I'm not gonna get shocked, am I? All right, there we go. Just go. Ah, jellyfish. All right, so gotta check the rest of this cave now. It's a pretty short cave, like it's really easy to get through here. I actually wanna go and, what the hell's wrong with the shark? I wanna go and check out the other cave at some point. Not today though, because that cave is very dangerous. It's over the other side of the island, like on the eastern side. And there's like Mosas, Tusos, and everything galore over there. It's just, that one's probably the most difficult cave I've ever done. Uh, this does not have a drop in it. So um, we're definitely gonna have to be very careful when we go in there, but I think the Basilo should be able to handle it. I mean, like this Basilo is extremely powerful, extremely tanky and everything, so we should be pretty good. I have the, yeah, I have the aggro stuff on me. Everything's gonna come after me now. All right, well, we might as well just uh, rush on through here. We're gonna check up there for drops in a second, but I wanna head into the last room here because everything's just gonna be following me, so I might as well just fight them. Is there a drop in here? Damn. Sometimes you can get red drops, like, right over there. All right, where is everything? Come fight me. So this is actually where I come to get the meat for all of my dinos now. I used to just kind of go around the ocean a little bit and just kill some manta and sharks and stuff. But I've just been coming in here, it's a, it's a hell of a lot easier just to come in here and just fill up completely and then head back to the base. Uh, there's some salmon coming. Might as well wait for those guys just to approach me. Alright, there's also this weird sound glitchy type thing happening. Also, we're not going to grab the artifact because, I mean, like, it's, yeah, I don't really see a point. So easy to get. I can't see one up there, and there's not one up there, but there is another. Hey, there's a shark here. There's another spot that we can go check. And it's in the previous room. Let's head back there. Man, that weird sound glitch is annoying. Holy crap. Uh, okay. So, it's just up here. Let's see. Yay, we got a purple drop. I can see it glow. Nice. Oh wait, no, that's a that's not a purple drop. That's a red drop. Are you kidding me? That's like terrible from a red drop. There's definitely nothing up here, right? Let's just go have a quick look, I guess. I don't see anything. No glows, no nothing. Damn, I need some I need some drops. I need that special item thing. God damn, there's an explorer out there I can get at some point. I'll leave it for now, though. Uh, Alright, so we're probably going to head out of this cave. Um, I don't know what else we're going to do. Like, this episode really doesn't have, like, a, a complete theme. We're just kind of getting a bunch of different jobs and stuff done. And I wanted to go over to the market and check out what uh, Evo had for us. And we put in a little bit of an order, which is going to be amazing. We're going to get a thousand arts at some point, And I'm just going to probably keep some biotoxin around. Just turn all that into um, the refined arts. And then we can just make, we can have a thousand refined darts for, for a while because those things actually can go into the fridge in S+, which is great. All those fish were following me and then they stopped following me. Kind of glad. All right, so we're going to head back out here and maybe look for some more trouble. I don't know if we missed this on the way in, but there's a red drop here. I don't know if we missed it, though. We might have. Megalania saddle, cool. I think I have a blueprint for those actually, but I'll take it for sure. What else? What's in our inventory here? Biotoxin, 
Anything else? Anything useful? No, not really. Alright, so I just thought I might show that off. We got a Megalania Mastercraft saddle. Pretty awesome. Alright, we're gonna head back out here. Ooh. Okay, whoa. That was weird. So I thought we might actually take this bow out for a little bit of a test spin, because I haven't even shot it yet. Very nice of Evo to give us these. Where is Mystique? There she is. Let me just call her. She'll get here in a second. Might fall down that hole, though. Oh, wait, no. She'll be fine. Hey. All right. Let's see. Uh, what gamma am I on? Am I turned up on gamma, or... I don't think I was. But it kind of looks a little bit weird. I don't know why. Okay, let's head out into the forest here and see if there's anything that we can kill with this bow. I just want to see how much damage it does, really, because I might use it in a cave. I really like the compound bow, to be honest. Like... A lot more than the sniper, because it does a lot of damage. But my sniper is very powerful too, so I kind of might use that. I might just use the sniper eventually for like the hits whenever we're doing that. Just bring the sniper with me. Um, I need to start actually gathering up some other things for the hits, like different, uh, different kind of tools and stuff like that, and kind of have like a little box or something that we can look in whenever we want to go out and try to kill somebody. Because we have a couple of them to do, and I want to try and do some of those at some point soon enough. Why can't I get the stupid bug? There we go. Alright, uh, we got some stegos, we got some trikes, we got a parasaur. Let's try it out on this guy for a quick second here. Let's see. Oh, that's pretty good actually. Hey! I like that. That's a lot of damage. Hit him in the head. Yeah, there we go. I hit him in the head. Does less damage if you hit them in the head. You know, I feel like at some point they they should really update trikes and stegos and like packies and all those creatures. So if you hit one of them, the other ones are just gonna get aggroed as well. Cause like I don't know, they kind of like go around in little herds. So you always find like trikes and stegos together. So I kind of feel like that would be a better mechanic. Everything's just here. <laughs> All right, let me see. Is there, there's a raptor. Oh, oh, that was a 156. You know what, actually? I am in the market for a high-level raptor, so if I ever see one at some point, we're probably gonna try to tame it. Anything down there? Oh, not really. Let me run around with this a little bit. I'll keep Mystique on follow. Oh, that one hit. I heard it hit, but it didn't count. That one hit as well. That one missed. <laughs> Damn, we missed completely. Alright, let's run down here a little bit. We got some packies, we got some parasaurs. Nice. Uh, there we go. What else is around here? Got another parasaur down there. Stego, I don't know if I want to completely fight this thing. Because, uh, why can't- whoa. There we go. I was trying to, like, whistle attack by target, but it wasn't working for a second. Ah, oh, so he does a lot less damage when I'm not riding on him. How much damage do you do when I am riding? I don't know if that thing was mate booster or not. Let's see. Oh, I missed. Oh, okay. So we do, like, 400 damage when- or Mystique does 400 damage when she's by herself. But she does 522 with me. Or was that 512? I can't remember. Where are the compies? I, I can hear them, I just can't see them. Scare them away. Oh, there they are. So hard to spot. Alright. You know, actually, a lot of people were giving me some really cool ideas for, like, different, uh, creature pits that we can make, and one of them was, like, a compie pit. I think that's just pure evil. Compie pit, like... <laughs> That's just, that's just so mean. <laughs> you know, what would be even, it would be even worse if we had, like, a Trudon pit, I feel, but, like, a Compi pit would be a little bit more humiliating. Or maybe even, like, a Fiomia pit, where, like, somebody falls into, like, a bunch of, like, really high-level Fiomias all on aggressive. I think that would be humiliating. Probably the worst thing that could ever happen. Either Fiomias or, like, Parasaurs or something. Got a turtle here. 
you, Ted, and you, and you, and all of you. Oh, was that a Trudon I heard? Thought I just heard a Trudon. What drop is this? It's, okay, it's a white drop. We don't want that. You know, actually, right here is a spot I considered for our base in this season. Because I really do love this lake. But I don't think it has access to the ocean, does it? Nice! That was a good hit. Alright, what's... What was that? Okay. It's a Dimorph. Actually, what level are you? Level 30. Poop. Oh man. Well, this bow is pretty freaking OP, I have to say. Thank you, Evo, for the bow. Um... Okay, so I guess we're gonna probably figure out something else to do. <laughs> Uh, it's funny how this is still a bug. I broke Mystique. <laughs> this is hilarious. It's like riding on like a little a little magic carpet or something. It's instead of being like a bumpy ride at all, it's just completely smooth. And jump. That will fix it. The way to do that, in case you guys didn't know, is if you are like if you're hitting space and then you attack in the water like that, you can just go into this mode where you're just like floating. So like normally if you hop in, you go like this, but it should fix itself. Oh, now it's not fixing itself. Okay, I thought that you had to attack. All right, well, apparently not. Can I still? <laughs> oh man, so dumb. So I came here because I wanted to uh, put down like a little sign or something, because this is where we're gonna build the, uh, the, the Tower of Kibble farm thing that we're gonna have. Oh man, that was a lot of damage. I guess it was a flyer, so it does more. So yeah, like right here is like the spot. I think we're probably gonna build it mostly close to the coast here. And then we're gonna have like land out front where we can have like the larger dinos that I'm not gonna be able to fit into the initial tower. Uh, we might build something else for them though. Cause like for Brontos and different things like that, like I'm not gonna try to fit those into this tower. It's just not going to happen, and I might be able to fit in Rexes and, and some other stuff like Spinos and different things. Um, possibly a Giga, I don't know, I'm going to have to like size that up a little bit. But uh, right here is the spot though. We're going to eventually put down a tree platform and do it all up here, but I want to just put down a couple signs, so... Sign... Ugh. GN, there we go. So we need fiber, thatch, and wood. We hit this a little bit. I'm just gonna put down that and I'll probably put down a couple torches or something maybe. Let's grab some fiber. Okay, so sign. Make like three or four of those. And then, what does a torch cost? Standing torch. I need flint, okay. Where are the rocks? There's one there, but I need flint though. I can't pick these up, what? Oh, now I can. That's so weird. Alright, there's a rock over there. It's kind of getting dark, too. Okay, so this is the area anyway. We got plenty of space. I don't think anybody's going to live down here. Axeman's thing is a little bit up the beach anyway, so we should be pretty good. Let's see, we'll put down just a couple torches around the place. Let's make the S plus ones. Uh, what would I be missing? Thatch. Let's do this now. Build one more. Torch. S plus. There we go. Okay, so we have signs. We have torches. Should be marking up this area. Let's see. Where bets are my signs? There we go. Alright, so a torch over here. What the hell? It's actually colored as well. With the S plus ones, you can change the color, which is great. Make it super intense. <laughs> how do you change the color, though? I don't know how you do that. Yeah, I actually don't know how you change the color. <laughs> All right, let me turn off the... Uh... It doesn't have, like, an on-off thing, does it? No, I want to disable that. Cool. That's crazy looking. All right, so another one just over here. Just so everybody knows that I'm going to build something here. 
Okay, I need to eat something. There we go. So yeah, I, I think, I don't know when we're going to start building this, but pretty soon. I want to get like the tower, at least the bottom of it, done for the most part. And then we're probably going to start collecting up the dinos to put into here. We've already kind of tamed up a couple things, and a lot of those things have died, so... Definitely need a safe place for them to be. I'm gonna probably put a bunch of like spiked fences around the whole place as well Just to be sure that they are completely 100% safe um, I probably didn't need four signs. Maybe just one uh, uh, oh, Do I have caps on? Uh, Sins Tower of Kibble Sweet There we go. Now everybody will know. Amazing. Okay, well, uh, yeah, this is definitely a really cool location, for sure. Also, it's really close to the ocean. That's going to mean that I'm definitely going to be able to just, like, bring my vessel over, feed up everything, and bring it back to base. It's not, like, a big pain having to go across the map or anything. And, like, Axeman's thing is right here, pretty far away, so I shouldn't lag it out too much. But this area down here might be pretty laggy by the time I have everything there. I mean, there's, there's going to be pretty much one of every single creature that can produce an egg in the game. Uh, except there's not going to be one. There's going to be, like, a male, a female, and probably two other females. Maybe even more have females. I'm not exactly sure how many I should have. But I want it to be a place where I could just kind of, like, chill out in, in, like, a little box or something AFK for a little bit. And just collect up a bunch of kibble so I can get that all sold up. Stupid ichthyhornus. I keep killing those things. I hate them so much. So, yeah, um, we'll do that at some point. But, guys, that's probably going to be it for today. I know it's been kind of a little bit of a different episode, but sometimes, you know, kind of just have, like, different things to do, and I thought I might bring you guys around for some of it. So, I hope you enjoyed it anyway. If you did, go ahead and beat the crap out of that like button. If you guys want to see more, you can subscribe. Also, if you didn't know, I put artifacts up there, which I really like. We just got to finish the rest of the towers. Man, oh, so much stuff to do, <laughs> but I'm excited. Oh, man. All right, I'll catch you guys next time.